Hello everybody, Bryos here. Today's video is about how to polar. Yep, so polar highlands, a controversial map because most people don't like it because it attracts lots of learn boats, which is honestly not much fun. But I found that this map is actually pretty darn playable if you know how to play it. And today I will show you the four rules that I use to play polar highlands and it's not only fun but it's pretty effective no matter what build you use. Of course, good teamwork, coordination and great attention to the minimap is the most important. And without further ado, let me introduce to you my 4 rules of playing Polar Highlands and winning it no matter what is your build. So first we have rule number 1, that is to pop tart and to peek wisely. This is the rule that most people break and this is the downfall of many people because most of them they rush to the major engagement areas like Indian 9, they try to peek over the top whether it's a learn boat or a ballistic laser bill and yeah, but they don't realize that as you peek over the top, against a white hill, you are pretty damn obvious and you will draw lots of fire. So that brings us to rule number two, watch the top. So as I just mentioned, people love to peek in this map, which is a very dangerous thing unless you have the skill to do it wisely. So as they peek, look at the tops, you see a mech, call it out. For example, if you see a sun spider peeking, say sun spider peeking is India 9 and everybody will deal damage to it. Punish them for peeking one at a time. So. Once that is done, we go on to rule number 3, then that is to work the corners. So that's the main rule in this map actually, watch the top and to work the corners. So that means corner peeking, working together, corner peeking and of course, comms as always, calling out the targets. Hopefully the enemy will nest car, they will leave one or two mechs behind, possibly the learn boats because they tend to learn and not pay attention, so you can focus fire and take them out. And once you've taken out a few, have a nice advantage like 2 or 3, the best part is push over as one. So once you have the enemy strung out or you have an advantage of two to four max, just push over and call targets, rush them, bump rush them and take them all out. And this is very effective. So these four rules we've done together, peeking nicely, watching the top as they peek and working together around the corners. And for the final push, push over as one, calling targets and smashing them. It's a very effective strategy. So and you'll see that a lot in this particular match. So here we have my Hellfire Brawler in action on Polar Highlands where you'll see the 4 rules in action and the enemy breaking those 4 rules. So as you can see Epsilon and now Alpha is peeking, very obvious, I drop a strike on him, forgot to mention that when you peek, it's also really obvious and easy to place a strike. So Lerm's firing aimlessly, it's okay. My strike comes in, deals some damage. You notice my team is not peeking, they were warned earlier not to peek and thankfully they listened. Nobody peeking on my right, or rather on my left. In fact, the whole team is going on the right. Alpha peeks. From fresh, he loses his right torso straight away. CT cord. Biggest mistake, breaking rule 1. Peeking unnecessarily. So, not going over the left side. Working on Epsilon over there. Yet again, focusing on working this particular corner. And here we have a Sun Spider left behind. He was at 81, so can't really call it an S-car, he just wasn't paying attention. ATM boats are like that. So pushing, working that corner. Rule 3, dealing some damage as he tries to link up with his teammates. So here we have a nice, nice spot, we have the high ground. 1 nil advantage. Gonna work on a few mechs like this, Atlas. Using my right mounted LB20 to peek, or rather to corner peek. Left also. Slowly the working on them. Shot. You notice as I corner peek, they are exposed one at a time. So now it's a 2 nil advantage. This Thunderbolt is going down. At this point, they normally fall back. And that's the call, rule 4. Pushing forward. Focusing on Foxtrot. Everybody goes over the hill. One huge murder ball charging forward. Enemy tends to fall back. Kilo is dead, using MASE to charge forward with my brawler combination. Look at the focus fire on this Atlas. When the enemy falls back, it's not the NASCAR. They just fall back. So it's 8 nil. Combination of peeking and pushing over got us 8 kills. 4 kills before the push, 4 kills after. So that's a really fast and vicious match on Polar Islands. Not because we have lots of Lerms and ATMs, but mainly because we had coordination and followed the four rules. 
Rule 1 being picking wisely, which is what the Marauder did not do. So the enemy Marauder came over alone, taken out in a few seconds. Rule 2 is to cover the tops and Rule 3 is to work the corner. You can do Rule 2 and 3 together. So as I was working around the corner with a few mechs, the slower mechs behind were just covered at the top. So the enemy cannot see us without taking massive damage. And finally for Rule 4 is to push together as one. So when we were 4 nil up after taking out a few mechs, we made the call to push, targeting the king crab and pushing together as one. At that point, it's just a formality, the enemy will see the massive murder ball and most of them will fall back. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the 4 rules, give it a try. Uh, Polar Highland is actually not such a bad map, you just have to know how to play it. So that's it, Bryce here signing off, I hope to see you guys on the battlefield and do say hi if you do. Ciao!